Twenty six hours and Muti two as well, please. Oh my God. We take this quite seriously, you know. I mean, the whole country is on lockdown, so um, it is a serious um, time. So our main job is to enforce these laws. Ever since we moved into level four, um, there's a lot more family um, domestics, obviously, uh, because everybody's at home. Yeah, I love my job. Yeah, I love the adrenaline that comes with um, such a, you know, a scary job. But at the same time, I want to go home. Every time I start my shift, you know, whoever my partner is, I'm always like, okay, our main goal is for today is to just get through the day and make sure that you can go home to your family because, you know, my family's waiting for me as well. job of the day <laughs> so we have protocols so everybody gets these every shift you have to make sure you've got all of this handy obviously this is our bubble um, obviously in a car you can't really help it but be this close so we'll, we'll kind of stuck together until this lockdown is finished and um, when you use a vehicle obviously it's dirty um, we, we finish with it, so at the end of the shift we clean it and then we put it on the other side and it says clean, clean. So that we have all of these around the um, station. So at the moment we're just patrolling the area. Just making sure everybody is following the two metre rule. Um, making sure all the dairies. Remember the one in, one out rule. At this time, it's just really frustrating when you um, see a lot of people just going to visit their friends um, or visiting, I don't know, family members or so. It just means that they're not listening or they're not, you know, cooperating with everybody else. Like the, everybody else is doing it, or how come you can't? Obviously, we have to educate people first. So if we find, you know, the same person out, then that's where we have to go with our formal written warning. And then the third one, you will be charged. I think the biggest challenge for me myself is that um, people don't see us as people or as a person. Um, they just see the blue uniform and that's all they see is, oh great, it's a cop or oh great, it's a police officer. We're people too. Yes, we chose to do this job, but only to help our community and you know help our families as well you're not hungry uh, I'm on diet. <laughs> you're on a diet why are you on a diet I had a poor I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, little update we got called to a job get off the road There was a party there, um, everybody got together, everybody got too drunk. Um, not everybody was the same bubble or same household. One person was obviously um, causing all the trouble, um, so we had to take them away. Our jobs isn't easy. Um, we're literally risking our lives every single day. It's one of the coolest things about being, you know, a police officer is that there's a lot of us around and having that, we are very lucky to have an awesome team. Um, once you need help, everybody is just, you know, hands on and ready to be there to support you and make sure you're okay. Oh, you gotta love the weekends, eh? Even on lockdown. 
<laughs> I looked out, everybody's still partying. I think there's one thing that I really want to let people know at home um, about my job is that it's very stressful. Uh, we, we go through a lot, but it's a very, very rewarding job at the end of it. That's why a lot of us have joined um, as, you know, it's, it's for our people and to make sure that our people are safe.